So what does humanistic teaching mean to me? Well, um, it's always meant really uh, that people are at the, uh, uh, the centre of the classroom. Um, they bring their own syllabus, they bring their own meanings to express and that uh, uh, they're the central necessity for any humanistic classroom. However, nowadays, um, my interest is more specifically aimed at almost a kind of political version of humanistic teaching, where the, the classroom actually maintains its status as a human space um, under the assault, maybe, of constant technology. Um, of course, technology brings many wonders with it and enables us to, um, to communicate with each other over uh, remote distances. But um, what it can't do is uh, replicate the circumstances that prevail when a group of humans gather together in space and time, in real time, and can create an atmosphere which is unique to that time. Um, so filming that class would never be able to replicate that class. Uh, why a webinar is different from a seminar. And I think it's very important that the modern humanistic classroom, of course, incorporates elements of technology where necessary, but doesn't sell itself to hyper-technology. Um, and that we maintain the importance of group dynamics uh, and that humans relate to each other in, in a magical way in real time. And so maybe group dynamics has never been more important than, than it is now. Um, because we go to the cinema to watch a film. It's different from watching it on the telly. There's a sense of occasion for me for going to the cinema. And this is what some of the students I work with who come to free lessons that my trainees give. They say they come to class as a kind of, as a sense of occasion for them and social communication and contacts. So anyway, I think I've said enough now. So that's my view. So now it's your turn.